Hey guys and girls, so this is gonna be just a real quick video on an install of a Thinkware dash cam FA200, that's the front and rear cam. Uh, this is my wife's car, 2010 Ford Fusion Sport with the 3.5 V6 and the all-wheel drive. Now, here's the whole reason why we are getting these dash cams. I'm sure you can see that just fine. So somebody hit us in a parking lot, didn't leave a note, and took off. So now we're getting dash cams. So as you can see, there's the front dash cam. Please excuse all the salt and mess in the car right now. So basically, you can see all the wires here that I've bundled up. And it basically just follows inside the actual liner there or the weather stripping goes across behind that up through the roof there's the rear cam you can see the piece of tape that I put there to center it up here in the front so I, I opted for the hardwire kit so that you could have the uh, parking sensor or the parking watch whatever they call it so that hopefully if somebody hits us again we can at least get a license plate number but um, what you'll need is you'll need two fuse taps Okay, this is a low profile tap. I don't think it works with the Fusion. I had bought some other ones too. They were just a standard fuse tap. Um, for my Canadian viewers, this was bought at Princess Auto. They're $5.99 a piece. They're great. So you'll need two of those. You'll need one for the battery, one for accessory. Pick yourself up some fuses. These guys were on sale, 30 packs, seven bucks. Um, Cause you'll need to put the original fuse in the tap and then for the new uh, circuit you need to protect it with a fuse as well I used a 5 amp fuse uh, I never mentioned this in the other video but Thinkware I think they make an awesome product I'm gonna find out here shortly but their uh, instructions were lacking were were terrible almost um, I realize that professionals are supposed to be putting this in. I have dabbled in some car electronics before. I put in many head units, subwoofers, amps. I think I know what I'm doing. We'll see what happens. But anyways, so what I did is I consulted the owner's manual. So you can see number 12 is a spare fuse. It's a seven and a half, seven and a half amp. Sorry, the, the 12 is actually the power mirror. So that's gonna be your battery source. So I always wanna pick something that is not crucial. Um, like if it went, it's not gonna cause the car to shut down. I could have picked the horn fuse for the battery, but if something were to happen and the horn went down, that's probably not a good idea. So that's why I went with number 12, which is the power outside mirrors, seven and a half amp fuse put the fuse tap there for my power for my accessory I picked number 37 which was actually a spare I tested it to make sure that it was only on in the accessory and put a tap in for that so I'll try to show you so there's there's the two fuse taps and thank you Ford for making these interior fuse box is just the most ignorant ignorant place to put a fuse box like so unuser friendly so what I had to do is take the cover and I know it doesn't look too nice it's kind of cold out right now so the the plastic was a little bit brittle but I cut a little notch in the side here so that those new wires can pass through now everything's protected I've done the preliminary setup made sure that everything was angled properly. I just have to basically add a little piece of wire loom on there just to tidy up that wire. The wire in the back is nice and straight. I used one of their little uh, clips to hold the wire up in place. It's tucked up in there nice. Pretty good clean install. So far I'm happy with it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll maybe post some videos uh, coming up of footage and stupid drivers and whatnot so thank you guys for and girls for watching this video 
If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. Comments are always appreciated. Just try to keep them constructive. And uh, I'll answer any questions that I can. Until then, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.